Hello, I'm Roger Sutton, I'm the boss at Sarah, and here's my monthly update about what's going on in the recovery around Canterbury. Behind me, Anthony Goff is well underway with his terrace development, which is going to be a whole collection of shops, restaurants, bars, but also office accommodation. Anthony's um, planning on having it going by show weekend or Christmas at the latest, and it's really fantastic to see real progress going on down in this part of town. Our plan at Sarah is we're working with Anthony to get our river park um, built and completed by the time his development finishes. And that way the whole thing really comes together in this corner of the central city. Because of Anthony's work and also other developments are happening further down Cashel Street, we're moving Restart. Restart's going to be moving, um, large parts are going to be moving to that south end of Cashel Street. And that way we keep Restart going, but at the same time we allow these great groovy developments to go ahead as well. Away from the built stuff and on onto the people, we've been for the last uh, two years been doing six monthly surveys trying to understand how people are in Canterbury. We do a wellbeing survey and that's a survey we bring together with a bunch of other health um, and social providers to try and understand about the overall well-being of the Canterbury population. We don't do it because we want to um, beat anybody up, we do it because we want to understand what are the things that are making people unhappy, what are the things that the leaders, whoever they may be, need to do to try and improve the lot of Canterbury people. Originally, the feedback we got was the greatest stress that people had was around the continuing earthquakes and aftershocks. Well, the earthquakes and aftershocks have largely gone now, so what we're now seeing is the biggest issue people raise as being having an impact on their well-being is insurance and EQC issues. So that doesn't mean that all insurance companies or every interaction with EQC is, is, is wrong or is, is, you know, the insurance company is particularly difficult. It just means people find those issues hard. They may find choosing whether they take the cash or get a rebuild done difficult. Choosing bathroom taps is maybe stressful for some people. The point is that we as a community need to support people going through, going through difficult insurance issues. That also means that at times you know, insurance companies will have to improve how they operate with people. And they're also very interested to see what these results are so that they can think about the things they need to do to improve their game. But we at Sarah have been listened really carefully to that feedback about the stress um, that dealing with insurance issues causes. And that's why a year ago, we formed this thing called the Residential Advisory Service. So since that started a year ago, we've had over 3,000 people through that service. It's a service where we match up people who've got insurance problems with an independent advisor, who's nearly always um, a lawyer, and they talk through whatever the issue people have got to look for a way of resolving it. And at one end, it may be a really simple issue. Maybe the issue that the insurance company has offered me $10,000 to fix my driveway, or they'll either, or they'll simply fix my driveway, and people don't know whether to take the cash or go with the fix. The independent advisor will help people think about what's the best solution for them. At the other sort of extreme, some people come to this residential advisory service with a really hard issue. They may be disagreeing with their insurer about whether they are a rebuild or whether they're a repair. In that case, we'd, we'd arrange a meeting between um, the insurance company, the people involved, and an independent person to have what we call a multi-party facilitated meeting. We get all the parties together to talk about the issues to try and agree a way through. We also have people coming through with things like, you know, they're in a multi-unit dwelling where people are joined up and everybody has to agree what colour the new bricks are going to be. So we're trying to resolve issues that are both really significant and hard to what can for some people be quite minor but also important issues. Not always does this residential advisory service find a solution. And so what the service will then do is then say, well look, you need to go off to um, perhaps a mediation process or an arbitration process where they can make a decision which in most cases will be binding on your insurer. Our role there is to, if you like, hold the person's hand and show them how to get into that other process as well. We've done some surveys of people who've been through this residential advisory service, and so far something over 90% of people are happy or very happy with the outcome they got from using the service. 
If you want to get in touch with the service, you can either look it up on the Sarah website, www.sarah.govt.nz. Go to their website, www.advisory.org.nz. Or simply give 0800 ring Sarah a ring and we'll also tell you about where to get hold of them. This is the year when a lot of the significant central city projects that the government and its local government are funding start to come out of the ground. We call them the anchor projects. And one of the first of those anchor projects to start really being built is called the bus interchange. It's a $50 million facility designed to accommodate up to 70,000 passengers a day going through it. It's designed to be a bit like an airport terminal, a place where it's a really pleasant place to get off a bus and head off into the city, or, or get off a bus and go off and get into another bus. It's been designed by talking and working with a bunch of both local architects and engineers, but also international people who've built, designed and operated these things before. The idea is by having the buses in sort of a, a semicircle, it makes it much easier to actually move around without being worried they're getting it run over by a bus. You don't have to cross any streets, you don't have to cross any major thoroughfares to get from one bus to another. In the same way you, when you go to the airport, you don't have to sort of run across the runway from one plane to another. Everything is kind of built around their own passenger experience. A facility which we think will serve this community really well because what we're trying to do here in the central city is have a whole lot of things come together to make a really, really exciting place for people who live here, for people who go to work here. And that living here is a really important thing. We are trying to, over time, bring more and more people to live into the central city. And by living in the central city, they can experience all these different facilities, but also by the way we're rebuilding it, have a really, really pleasant, exciting place to live as well. One of the exciting things about working on this rebuild is getting involved with a bunch of people from all over the country and all over the world. We've got people from within Christchurch helping us, obviously, um, but there are people that have come from places like New York as well. Sky Duncan was originally from Otago, and she currently works for the New York City Planning Department, as well as being a professor at one of the universities in New York. But she's been here in Christchurch for the last month helping us think about some of the hard issues we've got in rebuilding our city and our central city. If you want to know what sky has been up to while she's been here, you can have a look on our website, www.sarah.govt.nz, or have a look in the Greater Christchurch Recovery Update that will be on your mailbox this weekend. Also in the Greater Christchurch Recovery Update, there's also more information about that residential advisory service, the wellbeing survey, but also the bus interchange as well. So that's all I've got for you this month. Um, I look forward to seeing you again, but have a look on our website. Have a look at that Greater Christchurch Recovery Update. There's lots of interesting, cool stuff on there. Thank you.